everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is this very glam, glittery, fall inspired look. It's just a couple weeks out from fall and also my cousin just gave me a bunch of things that she didn't need or they're going to use. So it's not necessarily new but it's new to me. So I definitely wanted to dabble into some of that and this is the look that I came up with today. So if you guys like this look and want to see how I got it, then please keep watching. Okay, so I am clearly fresh out of the shower. Just washed my hair. Actually, I recolored it. So I'm going to let it sit in this towel and dry for a little bit while I do my makeup. And then hopefully when I brush it out and dry, it will be all fresh and clean and pretty. So I am going to go ahead and get started. And I just washed my face in the shower, but I'm going to moisturize and this is the take a deep breath by philosophy and I'm also going to spray some of this Mario Badescu rose water so I'm going to let that soak in and then I'm actually going to start on my eyes today because I am using some glitter and I don't want it to fall out and mess up my base so I'm going to start with some concealer as a primer and the one I'm going to use today is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye just because I have it sitting in my drawer and I don't ever use it. It's one of those that I got um, in an Ipsy bag I think so I'm just going to use some of that as my eye primer for today. And then I'm going to blend it out with this pure sponge. Um, I haven't used this before. My cousin just gave it to me in a bag of things that she wasn't going to use or didn't need. So um, I'm going to try this one today. I wet it and it puffed up quite a bit. It's a lot more firm than the Beauty Blender or the Real Techniques sponge that I usually use. but. We will just see how it works. So it's going to blend that all over my lid as a base. And then I'll set it with some powder. Um, the one I have today is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I haven't used this one in a while. Okay, so the palette I'm going to use today, aside from the glitter, is the Tardist Pro Palette. And it looks like this got a lot of like warm tones in it which is great for the fall look that I'm going for so I'm gonna just start with the shade bold and I need to move this baby up so I can actually see what I'm doing hopefully that doesn't annoy you guys and I'm just gonna blend that into the crease with a fluffy brush And as I'm looking over here at myself, my little viewfinder thing, I am seeing my awesome tan line right here. I know you guys can see it too because I normally wear a much thicker strap than this when I'm outside. So that's what we're working with today. But these shirts are just a lot more comfortable when I'm doing my makeup. I don't have to worry about getting stuff on them. So pretend it's not there. Don't judge me. So then taking that same brush and a little bit of the color next to it called Edgy, I am going to... Start blending that into the crease and on the outer corner. I'm actually going to grab a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M433, just so I can kind of have more control and not get it too high with that darker color. And I'll use that fluffy brush in that first color just to help blend it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take an even smaller fluffy brush and the shade Smoked, which is just an even darker matte brown, 
and I'm really going to darken the outer V. Take a little more of that edgy color to just kind of help blend out the edges and just kind of fade it into a slightly lighter brown. And as you can see, I keep switching back and forth between these three brushes as I need to, um, just to help me get the color where I want it and then blend it out. And then every once in a while, I tap back into bold just to help me really blend it out. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for now, and I'm going to go into the glitter, and I'm using the NYX Face and Body Glitter, and this one is in the shade Bronze, which is a goldy color, and I'm going to apply that with the glitter glue from e.l.f. So I'm just going to take some glue on my brush, and that's probably way too much. So I'm just going to take a little bit of glue on my brush and just pat it on to my lid where I want to put the glitter. And then with a little bit of glue still on my brush, I'm going to dip it into the glitter. I'm just going to put some in the cap. And just dip it into the glitter and very carefully press it on to my lid. Then I'm taking that smaller fluffy brush and that edgy color and I'm just very gently kind of tapping along the edge of the glitter so it's not such a harsh line where it just stops. Just to try to blend it ever so slightly but you don't want to do this to it because then you'll just get a bunch of fallout. So I wiped away as much of the fallout as I could get and now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to use this primer from I guess the brand is Make. Um, it was in an Ipsy bag. I think it's one of the things that my cousin gave me and this is the Moonlight Primer. I've never heard of it or tried it. Holy crap it's like not the color I was expecting. It's like a dark gray color. So that's interesting, but I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And then for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is the shade 105. And then again, I'm going to use that pure sponge to pounce it in. Not really sure how I feel about this sponge. It's pretty um, dense, so I kind of feel like I'm pouncing against my face a lot more aggressively than I normally would with the Beauty Blender. But I mean, it doesn't do a bad job of blending. It's just a lot more rough, I guess. And then I'm just going to conceal my blemishes with the RCMA palette. If you guys have seen my how I cover my blemishes video, you know what I'm going to do, so I will just fast forward this part and then we will move on with the rest of our face. Okay, so then for my under eye concealer, I'm using the Bye Bye Under Eye, like I said earlier, and this stuff is super thick so a little bit goes a long way if you get too much then 
it can be kind of a thick cakey mess so start with a little and you can build it up and then I just kind of use whatever is left on the brush to do the center of my face because again it's pretty thick And then I'm quickly going to set that with some more of the Laura Mercier powder because it will crease on you. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that. Okay, so now that the under eye is done, I'm going to go ahead and move my mirror back up and finish the under eye shadow. I'm going to take that medium blending brush again and I'm going to start with some of the bold color, the lightest one, and start smudging that underneath, and this probably has a little bit of the darker brown still on it, which is fine. I'm going to go in with those anyways. So then with a smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with that medium brown. And then taking a definer brush in that darkest brown, I'm going to press that right up against the lash line, just on the outer part. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and lashes off of camera, and then I will be right back. Okay, so brows done, lashes are on, and I'm using these ones I haven't used before from the brand Pure, and these are the Pro Eyelashes in Diva. I haven't worn these before. This was something else that my cousin gave me, so I popped those on, and then I also put some black liner in my upper and lower waterline. So now I'm moving back to the face, and I'm bronzing with the NYC Sunny bronzer. And then I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil for my contour today. And then for blush, I'm not much of a blush wearer, but I thought I would wear a little bit today. So I think I'm going to use like this middle color here. This is the Morphe 9B palette. I usually go for just more of like the bronzer all over my cheeks, but every once in a while I'll throw in some color and not really too much color, mostly just like those like flush of color, mauve neutral kind of blushes. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And I'm even going to blend over it a little bit with my bronzer brush so it's not too strong. And if you hear anything like going on outside, it's cars back and forth. I live on one of the busiest roads, so there's like constantly a car going by. So hopefully you guys can't hear that. But if you do and it's annoying, I'm sorry. Okay, so now the thing that I'm most excited for that my cousin gave me is this Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder, and this is in the shade Illuminati. I've seen these for the longest time, and I've been dying to use one. I just haven't bought one yet. So I'm going to use that today for my highlight with the Morphe M501. And unfortunately, I have like this crazy breakout happening right here, so I have to keep my highlight further back than I normally would. So I probably have like way too much product on my brush. I can only imagine if you put down like a cream base or um, wet your brush. So if you like that sort of thing, this is probably going to be the kind of highlight for you. So I'm going to try to not go too crazy because like I said, I have some breakouts and I don't want it to emphasize any of that or the texture. But if you have great skin, go right ahead and just 
pile it on. I'm also going to put some of that on the inner corners since I have gold on my lid. And then before I forget, I'm just going to take that cream matte color from the eyeshadow palette and just highlight underneath my brow. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at this for now, go dry my hair and get dressed, and then I will be back to finish it off with the lips. All right, I am back, I'm dressed, my hair is dried, and now I'm going to do my lips. And I think I'm going to do like a deep berry kind of color. That seems to be a classic fall color. So I'm first going to line with this pencil from NYX in the shade Prune. And then for my lip color, I'm going to use, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic. It's a little like trio sampler. Another thing that my cousin gave me, and I think I'm going to use this really dark, dark purple down here. It's the shade 501. Okay, so as you can see, that lip color starts out looking really dark, but once you start applying it, it gets a lot lighter and more berry, because it looks like a really, really, really dark purple in the packaging. And when you first apply it to your lips, it looks like that, but once you start to like actually move it around and spread it across your lips, it turns to a more like berry kind of color, but I mean, I'm not mad at it. That's still fallish to me. So, um, yeah, this is the finished look. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm kind of sad that I'm all glittered up and literally no place to go. I'm just going to go probably sit on my couch after this. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to get a look filmed, and it's like less than three weeks from fall, maybe more like two weeks. I don't know, by the time I get this up, it might be even closer. So, um, yeah, I really just wanted to film this video and use some of the new-to-me things that my cousin had to give me. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!